Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my newest members. PJ Parth, thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. Members get to see the thumbnail before the video premieres and they're also giving shout outs in my videos. So if you have a YouTube channel, this would be a good opportunity for you to be given a shout out in the video. All right, let's move forward. Now we have a problem from Junior Balkan Math Olympiads. We're given an expression that is equal to k and we're supposed to find another expression in terms of k. We have x squared plus y squared divided by x squared minus y squared plus x squared minus y squared. In other words, the reciprocal of the first expression, there's the sum of something plus its reciprocal equals k and we're supposed to evaluate the same expression for the eighth powers. Now this expression might look pretty complicated but don't worry, it's going to be simplified pretty much easily. Okay, let's go ahead and get to it. Now, the first thing I'll, I'm going to do, I will make a common denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me pick a different color here, maybe this one. Okay, so if I make a common denominator, basically I'm going to be multiplying this by that and that by this. So we need to multiply both the top and the bottom by x squared plus y squared here and here and we need to multiply by x squared minus y squared here and here. So the numerators will basically be perfect squares. So here we're going to get x squared plus y squared quantity squared plus x squared minus y squared quantity squared. And that is going to be divided by these two expressions, the product, and that's going to be the difference of two squares. So I can write it as x to the fourth minus y to the fourth. Now, if you expand this expression, you probably know that if you add a plus b squared and a minus b squared, that should always equal to 2 times the quantity a squared plus b squared, because the 2ab in the middle cancels out. So we are going to be getting from here the expression something like this. We're going to get x to the fourth power plus y to the fourth power, but just twice. And at the bottom, we're going to get x to the fourth minus y to the fourth. So something similar is going to happen here too. Uh, so let's see what this gives us. So this is equal to, this is equal to k, right? Okay. So from here, let's go ahead and isolate x to the fourth plus y to the fourth divided by x to the fourth minus y to the fourth. So that's going to equal k over two. So at this point, I'd like to do the following. Divide everything by y to the fourth, so it looks like this. x over y to the fourth power plus 1 divided by x over y to the fourth power minus 1 equals k over 2. So here, we would like to get the x over y to the fourth power by itself. So we can just go ahead and do the following. Let's just call this u. And we get u plus 1 divided by u minus 1 equals k over 2. Let's go ahead and isolate u from here. We get 2u plus 2 equals ku minus k. Our goal is to get u, so let's put everything that has u in it on the same side. ku minus 2u equals k plus 2. Remember that song? Happy birthday to you. So here we can take out the k, I mean the u u times the quantity k minus 2 equals k plus 2 and from here we get u equals k plus 2 divided by k minus 2. So now let's go ahead and back substitute. Remember u was x over y to the fourth power and that is given as k plus 2 divided by k minus 2. And as you know k is the expression given so it's perfectly fine to write it that way. Okay, so we got x over y to the fourth power. Now let's go back to our expression. We are supposed to evaluate x to the eighth plus y to the eighth divided by x to the eighth minus y to the eighth plus its reciprocal, same thing, but just reversed or flipped, whatever you want to call that. And we're supposed to find this in terms of k. Now, one of the things that would be real helpful is, you know, follow the same method, make a common denominator. Let's go ahead and do that. And that's going to give me x to the 8th plus y to the 8th squared plus x to the 8th minus y to the 8th squared divided by the difference of two squares gives me x to the 16 minus y to the 16. Now here we get the same identity. So that gives us 2 times x to the power 16 
plus y to the power 16 divided by x to the power 16 minus y to the power 16. And here we are supposed to find this in terms of k. So let's go ahead and remember what our expression gave us, the first one. We got x over y to the fourth power in terms of k. So if you can find something like that from here, that would be nice. And what I can do is divide everything by y to the 16th power so we can get something like this. x over y to the 16th power minus 1 divided by x over y to the 16th power minus 1. This should actually be a plus sign and I can just go ahead and put the 2 here as a coefficient. Okay, so we're supposed to write this in terms of k but remember x over y to the 4th power is given as k plus 2 over k minus 2 and now we can write this expression as 2 times x over y to the fourth power to the fourth power. So that's going to give us, that's going to give us basically this expression to the fourth power because we are raising it to the 16th power. It's going to be k plus 2 over k minus 2 to the fourth power plus 1 divided by pretty much the same thing with a minus sign. Okay, now. Let's go ahead and simplify this by expanding this. We'll always have a 2 obviously here, but we'll also make a common denominator. And the common denominator, actually, we're going to have two fractions that are divided that have the same denominator, so we can totally ignore the denominators. In other words, this is what I'm trying to say. Maybe I shouldn't skip too many steps. So here's what I'm trying to say. This gives us k plus 2 to the fourth power plus k minus 2 to the fourth power divided by k minus 2 to the fourth power. And that is all divided by k plus 2 to the 4th power minus k minus 2 to the 4th power. I'm making a common denominator for both fractions. And now here the denominators cancel out. That's what I was trying to say. And this gives us the following. 2 times the quantity k plus 2 to the 4th power plus k minus 2 to the 4th power divided by k plus 2 to the 4th power minus k minus 2 to the 4th power. So this answer is actually acceptable for the test, but I know some people are going to be upset if I don't simplify this. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify this expression and give you the result in the final, I mean, in the simplest form, in a way. So this is multiplied by 2. And if you go ahead and expand this from binomial theorem, as you know, some terms are going to cancel out. Uh, so let's go ahead and write it in the simplest form. And this is going to equal k to the fourth plus 24k squared plus 16 divided by 4k cubed plus 16k. Obviously the 2 that came in cancelled out with one of the 2's from the bottom. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care and bye bye.